Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the construction lines directly in the sketch. We will create this 3D model and reuse some base modeling and sketch feature. We will create new model and exercise 3 and we would like to create first extra feature based on this sketch plane. You can directly jump into 2D by sketch view and over here I don't want to see any more the datum planes and we would like to create the base shape. The base shape is based on the rectangle so we will create a construction mode and first circle. Then over here directly we will create internal triangle and what we know regarding the picture, we know the base dimension. So I will specify these dimensions. If you will only change right now the dimension like we, like we need, for example 56, the system will do not apply correctly everything, so do not apply the changes for both dimensions. I will select the both or existing entities and select modify functionality and over here I will use the function log scale. What does it mean? I would like to change these dimensions and the system will automatically change the additional one. So for example 56 like we need and now our base shape is ready. If we will continue what is on the picture, yeah, right now we have specified this base dimension 56 and we know that over here is the circle 5 and if you would like to specify the diameter you can change right mouse button and change us the diameter dimension and system automatically switch. Same for here so we will continue and automatically create same dimensions everything right now what we have is dimension 56 and diameter of the hole. For this 3D model right now driven entities are ready and we need to create outside entities. So we will start with no construction mode but with baselines and we don't want to select only entities but we would like to use the tangent lines. So the system allow to me automatically select tangent edges and you see that everything is placed correctly. So I will follow the shape around and we will create our base shape. Now the question is how we would like to continue. You can extend lines for example with a corner and in the future we will define additional dimensions. Yes, yeah, so I will change it right now and right now I see that I make some small mistake. I will change back to origin and change R to 11. Great. Right now you can see that this shape is not so easy based on the existing dimensions. But construction mode really helped me to create what we really need. I will confirm OK and the depth is 10 millimeters and we can continue. Fine. What we know over here right now we can focus on the bottom shape and we will focus on the necessary dimension so simply to say we will create the round feature. You can select right mouse button and the system automatically create everything or three entities and I will select the 11. Great. 
then we can continue because we would like to create, for example, the additional shape here. Yeah. So, based on this information, I will only continue with simple extra feature and I will reuse the center line because we would like to create rectangle which is symmetric and dimensions are here so this is the 20 and over here is the 50 we can continue and simply go upside and it's a 68 it's a high great now we would like to remove because over here is the triangle so it's not problem you can select the middle plane and right now the system spin the model a little bit like I don't want so it's no problem you can jump in the sketch setup and you can set that for example the system will spin the model to the top and if you would like to switch you can flip the sketch plane yes so everything will be looks like on your view here and simply to create dimension for new shape and I will create this dimension We will automatically set that we would like to remove material for both sides. So one side will be through all and the opposite side, the side two, will be through all. Simply and easy and quick. Then over here we would like to create this internal cut. And you can see here that right now I miss the sketch plane. What does it mean? You can simply to drag insert here and then you can use the extrude feature. For this example I would like to use the thin the sketch. What does it mean? I will create only line and this line will be six millimeter thick. So we we'll jump into sketch and into sketch will create line directly in the middle. So over here and here. What does it mean if you will see here that system allow to me to extrude feature and you can select the placement where the system will create the thickness on the left hand side right hand side or in the middle just created line this is what we want or what we need and we would like to create a cut so system automatically recognize that we would like to go inside and the depth will be 54 perfect if you will move the insert here with the dragging or you can sell a right mouse button and system allow to you exit insert mode and confirm yes and everything will be recalculated perfect simply and easy at the end we would like to create the holes and holes on this example is based on the axis so we can simply and easy create an axis based on the surface yeah I will show you that system create axis and again we will continue with a national axis and last one so select our surface and system will automatically create correct axis based on the axis we would like to create a hole and hole will be placed on the axis and with control button the start surface change diameter a little bit or directly select the number 10 as we need and depth will be through all everything for a hole what we have again we can use the copy and paste so control C and control V and select the axis and start surface middle button for confirmation and again you can use the control V only and select new axis new surface and finish our 3d model is ready to use 
at the end you can specify your custom color you can use from the palette you can apply for the surfaces or for the models for features or directly from the model tree you can select whole model and if you would like to create a drawing it's really easy because you can spin the model yeah you can select the view manager in orient tab you can create new orientation for the drawing and directly if you will create new drawing specify the name and specify for example empty format and specify the format and right now simply to create general view and confirm OK and you can orient the model and if you would like to move with view you know that it's possible with really easy selection or right mouse button and then again you can continue with specification of the general view orientation so for example left or right you can select select the display how you would like to follow the showing the lines for example hidden line and if I will come from I can see like we need and from right mouse button simply easy to select the projection and again with the double click you can use the display and set up for example no hidden and so on so it's up to you how you will specify and where you would like to show your objects so I will focus and really quickly create a couple of views and then if you would like to create a dimension simply to jump to annotate and show model annotation and for example you can show all everything here in this view or simply to select a couple of views and then continue with some features and show additional dimensions here yeah so for example we can select all and if you miss some dimension you can click and the system will allow to you show step by step or additional features and continue like you want okay some dimensions are a little bit on the wrong position yeah because I have selected a little bit quickly but I would like to show you that for example you can select the dimension and use the right mouse button and move to new view if you select this icon move to new view and you can select the view system automatically show dimension into selected view you can move with the specify the placement and like you have seen in the last video tutorial you can select the dimensions and in right mouse button is possible to set up clean up dimensions and arrange the position for the dimensions and simply and easy you can arrange if it is necessary to move something it's fine and with right mouse button you can change the arrow placement and for example this dimension is not necessary so you can simply delete additional dimension and modification so it's up to you if you will select here or you would like to place it in the new view I think that over here is much better and again we will use the arranging and cleanup dimensions so apply and close and looks much much better and easy good last but not least is the showing the axis for example for this view and we would like to show all and in this view again we can show all I think that will be much better to show all and disappear this one yes yeah, so it's up to you how you will manage in this video tutorial you have seen how to create the complicated geometry if the dimensions are not so clear yeah, so for example this dimension was our base dimensions and based on this base dimension we have create shape and we have reused the construction lines for the base shape 
and then we have seen a couple of new features for the extrude and how to use the thin sketch directly. I hope so that you like this tutorial, so please stay tuned and like my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Vladimir. -bye.